Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to continue looking at the parts that I'll be using in my upcoming um, Intel Raptor Lake and RTX um, 4090 build. So previously we looked at the um, ASUS TUF 4090 and that um, look is on the channel if you want to see how that came out. Did some basic um, benchmarks with that one compared to the um, Evigia 3090 Ti. So today we're going to take a look at the um, ASUS um, Strix 4090. Um, so it should be just a little bit bigger than the um, the tough version of the 4090, um, but have a higher base overclock values and such like that. So we'll get that. Let's get this opened up. Take a look at it. And just like before, we'll do some basic benchmarks with um, this one against the 3090 Ti and go from there. Um, so first things first, let's get the box opened up. Oh, I guess, well, let's just take a look at the box first for those who may not seen one in person. So here's a good view of the front. side the back and I can say just by holding the box it is um, much heavier than my um, 3090 um, I, um, yeah the 3090 Ti and even the um, the tough this definitely has more weight to it. One thing I really liked about the Tuff was its build design. It was all metal, the frame and everything else. It's a very secure um, card. It really felt like, well, it's hard to say when you buy a expensive graphics card, so you're getting your money's worth, but it really felt very well designed and put together that Tuff. And everything else um, so I was able to get some moderate overclocks with it and everything else so hopefully we get a little bit better with this one right here remember my ultimate goal is I want consistent um, 3 gigahertz or higher for the um, GPU and we want um, 6 gigahertz on the CPU so that's the ultimate goal and we will keep binning graphics cards and CPUs until we reach that goal. Um, just like we did back in the day. So let's just set this off to the side for a second. And let's get this one opened up. All right, so there we go. Nice view of the card. So very well packed from the company. It's got foam up top here to protect everything else. So let's just reach in here. Let's see, can we get the card out without destroying the box? Okay, let's see. They want us to do this. This is packed in there very securely. Okay, and this is some nice foam fitting, which is a nice touch. I will say, um, ASUS has been doing a very, very good job with their packaging. And, um, if you saw the, box, the unboxing for the, the Tough, it had a nice military type um, frame to it and everything else. They're using the same plastic <laughs> seal for both cards, which is interesting.
So here we go with the bat, the card. Let's flip this around for a second here. So we have, I um, mean, all of this is metal, but it is in a plastic wrapper, I should say. I guess so that um, the little designs don't get scratched or anything else. Let's look at the bottom of the card. Here is our infamous power connector there that everybody's been talking about. The whole design, I was thinking, I thought some of this would be plastic too, but this whole shroud is metal. The whole thing is a metal frame. Get you a better view here. So you got a cover over here over your PCI. Nice and protected. Heat fins. No damage there, you can see all the way through them, which is nice. This is your only um, RGB part right there. And you have some other adapters right there. I think those are fan headers, maybe. So that's nice. Okay. Let's see, do they have a performance switch like they had on the Tough? See, can we find it and identify that? All right, here it is. So, right there, you have your different BIOS. So, let's see if it tells you. Okay, yeah. So, if I flip this around here, you can see where you have performance mode and quiet mode. Which, if you're buying a, a Strix, um, I don't think that many people are going to be using it in the... Um, quiet mode, but it's there if you needed to, but for me, I hardly ever um, switch these things to the quiet mode. I guess when I'm taking it out to sell a card to somebody, that's when I do it. Uh, but other than that, it's almost always on performance. Um, I heard had somebody ask me in one of the comments, how often do I upgrade my systems? And I generally upgrade my entire platform when a new GPU comes out. So. When that comes, what that means is that I would upgrade. So I'm creating a 30, um, 1390K Intel platform right now, right? Well, I'm not gonna upgrade that platform until Nvidia comes out with a um, 5090, for example. So I won't upgrade my entire platform just because they make a new GPU so the 4090 Ti, I'm not going to upgrade the entire platform again. 5090, then it'll probably be time for me to reevaluate those specs and everything else and decide if I want to rebuild a brand new system. So that's my cadence for um, building it. My last system, ironically, I decided to go AMD, so I made a Threadripper system for work. So that's what I have. Um, I've been using just a Threadripper. Thread Ripper system, um, and it's been very good. No, no complaints there at all. But um, I decided to go back this time to the Intel and build an Intel system. So there we go. All right, so let's set this briefly to the side, or right here, and let's see what other accessories come in here. Okay, so we have our infamous four plug power adapter. If you guys remember um, in one of my earlier videos, I have a ATX 3.0 um, power supply. Um, so I'll be able to go directly into the card without these adapters. But while I'm just testing the card out on my Thread Ripper system, because I still have. Ooh, a day before um, my Intel motherboard and CPU arrive, and I'm just testing this out on the Threadripper system, I'll just use these adapters for that system. But once I put the um, card in the main system, um, I won't be using this anymore. But, um, and these brand, these come from NVIDIA. Everybody gets these same exact card um, adapters right here. So that's what that is. They give us the famous or infamous Asus GPU stand, which is also a mini screwdriver. 
So um, if you need a screwdriver, you can unscrew it, and it's a screwdriver and it's a GPU um, stand as well. So nice little touch. And you get this little Velcro for those who dare um, band that you can apply and stick it somewhere if you want. So that is, let's see what else you get inside of here. I'm pretty sure you get some user documents. Um, stickers, all kind of little whatnots and stuff like that. Thank you cards. cards I don't know who thought about it I started doing this like what but it, it makes a lot of sense because um, you think about it, we some guys like you know have been collecting have generations of cards of uh, you know graphics cards and, and for for tens and 20 years and they keep their cards but sometimes they may um, sell a card but then they'll still have a collection of uh, or a keepsake that oh yeah I remember when I had a Evigia um, 285 or whatever else, right? So it's it's a nice idea. I don't know who came up with the concept, but it's pretty cool. So put that back in there. And let's do a quick comparison. We'll set this all these little things out of the side. Do a comparison with the 3090 Ti right here. So uh, first, let's just overlay it so we can get a size comparison. We'll do this from several sides. Okay, so here you can clearly see both lengthwise how much longer the um, 4090 is compared to the 3090 Ti. Um, and I guess I should show you this just so you'll see that this is a 3090 Ti. Um, also, when we compare just the, the actual heat sink size, oh, it's longer and it's actually thicker, right, than the 3090 Ti. Um, if we were to, maybe if I do it this way, it's a little easier to see. Okay. Um, here's another way to compare the difference between the 3090 and the 4090. So a huge generational leap as far as um, performance and size and everything else. So there you go. I will get the 4090 installed in my Threadripper system. And like I said, that's just um, the benchmarks I'm doing right now is just um, literally to test the card out, make sure it works just to get some rough idea of the performance that I can use it. I'm not even using it on my own, my 4K monitor. So um, when you look on this, not my, my gaming monitor, it's not even in 8K, um, which when I start playing and doing um, benchmarks, it'll be all in 4K and all that stuff, but that'll be in other videos down the line. But so anything, the, all of the videos you see, or I should say benchmarks you see today, is gonna be in my um, thread ripper system and that system is a 3070 um, thread ripper with 128 gigs of RAM um, and I'm not going to overclock the 4090 I'm just going to put in there and run it by default so the, the settings will be the default settings on the Strix I won't overclock it right now that'll be some a different video when I do overclocking and 
all of the games that I'll be playing, or actually I'm just going to try Cyberpunk. It's going to be on the cycle setting, the highest graphical settings there, running that in-game benchmark, and then some different 3D mark, um, some TED test. So that's what we'll do here. We'll get this installed uh, and go from there. All right, everyone, so there um, that ends the benchmarks I'm going to do just today with the Thread Ripple system. Obviously, the 4090 was going to be stronger. We knew that going in, but it's always just fun just to see what kind of um, point gains you can um, get by just throwing in a new graphics card without doing anything else and just letting it go. So there we go with that. So this will be the graphics card I use in the um, overall system build that I uh, started talking about a few days ago, about maybe a week ago. So I'll keep this one. Um, whereas the, the Tough was a good graphics card, um, nice scores, very nice cooling. This one is just a, a step above. So I'll be using this one in my system overall going forward. Um, as always, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to put a comment and I will get back as soon as I can. Um, I know some people were saying, do I have any arcade videos coming out? I do have some new arcade hardware here. I just need some time to actually go through it, process it, and um, upload some videos. But I will have some new arcade hardware videos coming out pretty soon. Um, but as if anyone has any questions about the um, computer build I'm doing, anything with the Strix, feel free to throw a comment down there and I'll get back as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day. Peace.